Grandpa, are we there yet? Yes. Gala, we are here. St. Petersburg, Florida. Home to the Dali Museum. Dali? Who's Dali? Salvador Dali. The great Spanish artist famous for creating brilliantly, unusual, and amazingly creative art. What does his art look like? Unpainted dreams. He's most famous for creating surreal art. What is surreal? Surreal means inspired by dreams. Seagull! Look out! Watch where you're flying! Grandpa, is this a no-fly zone? No, no, no. Dali loved flies. In fact, I knew Dali well. I was featured in his paintings. You're famous? <laughs> Vamos. I'll show you what all the buzz is about. There he is. The genius himself. Dali has an awesome mustache, just like you. He was a great artist, inspired by dreams, science, and even math. I once had a dream about fractions. It was not a pretty picture. <laughs> oh, God. When Dali learns something new about science or math, he will see it as a picture in his head. It's a spiral. I love spirals. And so did Dali. Follow me! There I am. Watch this. Grandpa, it is you. You were so young. Tell me about this painting, Grandpa. Dali was a master at creating double images. Do you see the statue of the woman? I see a lot of statues. Look at her waist. Do you see the button? A white button? Si, si, excelente. Now, look up from the button. Do you see a man's face in the shadows of the statue? I see him. The man is a Spanish bullfighter, a toreador. The white and green fabric become his tie and shirt, and over here, the red fabric become his cape. It does look like a dream. Is this surreal? Parts of this painting are surreal, but Dali also used other styles in this painting. Abstract, up, and Cubism. So many kinds of art. Did he always paint like this? Everyone has to start somewhere. Let's look at one of Dali's first paintings. This is Dali's self-portrait. Is that Dali? Yes. He painted this when he was 14 years old. Even at such a young age, he was able to capture the light reflecting off the Mediterranean Sea. But... How did he see himself? Did he use a mirror? Eres muy inteligente, mi niña. He used three mirrors to reflect this point of view using math and optics. Show me more, Grandpa. Wow, where do I look first? As with all art, look at the whole painting. Then let your eyes scan around. What do you see? I see. Perfectly painted boats, a cabinet, and bottle. A crutch? I see right through the woman's back, Grandpa. I, I don't get it. The answer is in the title. The weaning of furniture nutrition. Weaning is having something taken away and having to live without it. Like a baby that loses its pacifier. This is a painting of connected memories. Dali grew up on the coast of Spain and was cared for by his nanny, Lucia. It looks like the cabinet fits into Lucia and the bottle and box fit in the cabinet. Why did he do that? The memory of Lucia reminded Dali of the cabinet and the bottle that gave him nutrition. In this painting, the cabinet and bottle are part of her. This is surrealism. What makes it surreal? Techniques like this location, transformation, and juxtaposition. What are you talking about? This location is placing objects where they don't belong. Like a cabinet on the beach. That's different. Transformation is turning something familiar into something unusual. Like a lady with a hole in her back. Like that's normal. Juxtaposition is putting things together that don't normally go together. 
Like the crutch holding up Lucia. It's like his art is a puzzle you have to figure out. Exactamente, mi niña. Now you are thinking. And that is exactly what Dali wanted. Is it a hurricane? It looks like everything is flying around. Not everything. Do you remember what I said inspired Dali? Science, math, and dreams. Bueno. Dali loved the idea of atoms. Atoms are tiny bits of matter that make up everything in the universe. Dali found it amazing that atoms are always in motion, but we can't see them moving. So in this still life painting, he captured what we can only imagine. This was his way of visualizing math and science. If you look closely, some things are in motion and some are not. Grandpa, Dolly was some kind of brainiac. He also used math to create balance and harmony. Have you ever used a ruler to measure and find the center of a sheet of paper? Duh, Grandpa. Then you used math to make your art. Dali wanted his art to make you think, wonder, ask questions. Woohoo! My brain is doing cartwheels. He must have painted this on a hot day. The clocks are melting. On a warm evening, Dali saw cheese melting off the edge of a plate, and he thought, what if our clocks melted like cheese? The melting clock is a symbol that means time melts like a dream. Tell me more. The cheese was delicious, delicioso. Gala, do you think you could be a surrealist artist? I already am. My art teacher had us make a collage by gluing pictures on paper. First, I measured the page to find the center. That's using math. Then I drew a beautiful sunset. I love sunsets. I glued hot air balloons floating out of a house and doors floating in the sky. That's dislocation. I even put animal heads on people and a lady's head on a bee. That's transformation. Bravo, mi niña. You taught me something new. Anyone can be a surrealist artist. Grandpa, the Dolly Museum is amazing. Excelente. There is only one, Salvador Dali. Hey, let's buzz the guard on the way out. <laughs> oh, Grandpa. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, old friend. Hasta pronto, amigo. Dreams, science, and math inspire Dali. What inspires you and your art?